Oh, that feels good. Oh, that's what we're here for. Nothing better than being out in the outdoors and we're camping, we're ice camping everyone. What is going on, Brian's back saying homies. My name is Tyler and we are back on another episode of DC Bronzies. As you can see, we got the lights on in the shack with my buddy Dawson tonight, sitting in his uh, flip over shack here. All nice and warm. We are doing a little bit of ice camping tonight. We're out on the ice. He came and picked me up on the wheeler just about probably an hour and a half ago or so. And I got a tent set up over here, which I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. Never done this before. Super excited. I think it's going to be a fun night. We already put a couple fish on the ice, which you guys are going to see right here after the intro. I've got a lantern here. This bad boy happened to not work. It was just working, and I get out here, and now it's not working. So don't have a whole lot of light in my shack, but... We'll see how that ends up. I got a couple lights, a couple small lights. Either way, I think we're gonna cook up some dinner tonight. I'm gonna show you guys that. Kinda do the whole ice camping deal. I think you guys will enjoy watching that. I always enjoy watching that on other channels. If you guys have not, please go subscribe down below. Hit me with a follow on Instagram. If you have not already, I will be posting plenty of stuff on there. Lots of ice fishing videos coming up for you guys. So let's uh, show you guys the setups and hopefully we get some fish, some walleyes here biting in the next, next couple minutes. Left an eye sitting in the hole. <laughs> Go on. That ain't bad at all. Laying in the sand full of. Ah, look at that. That's something else. I watched this tip up go up and it's choked Jeez. within seconds. I did just put this tip up down. Gotta get used to this eight pound uh, fluoro on here. I want to horse him. There we go. A walleye on the tip up on the beaver dam, baby. First one for the beaver dam this week. That will be gone, unfortunately. Send this one back, nice little walleye. Well, right here we got Dawson's shack. And this is where I am going to be getting some shut-eye tonight. Got a really big propane heater. That'll be interesting. As you can see, got a bin over here. All sorts of stuff in there. Got my sleeping bag, my mat to sleep on, and the lantern, which I'm going to try to figure out here. The cot barely fits in here. I'm going diagonally across this little shack. This bad boy is not insulated, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. And of course we got this nice crappy little headlamp hanging here that doesn't even give off any light. This heater right here is awesome. It'll heat up like an entire garage pretty much if you got both of those things on. So I might smoke out with that. That's going to be pretty crazy. It's got a couple settings and it's got two burners on it. Of course you got some snacks, some other food. Dawson's got some hamburgers that we're going to cook up in the shack over there. Brought a little, little frying pan. We're going to cook that up in a little bit here. Oh, we got two tip ups. Okay. I see one over here. Right next to each other, too. Look at that. That looks decent, huh? That's a small guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting you all wet. <laughs> that would be the target species right there. Let's go. Got her swallowed. Munched. Oh, he's right back in the drink. All right, let's go get this one. All right, guys, this tip up has gone off twice. First time it was a pike. There we go. Feels like smaller head shakes. Does feel like a walleye, though. Is that a walleye? Oh yeah, that's not a bad one actually. It might be a 18er, 19er. This is what we came out here for. Big thanks to Dawson for bringing me out. He's showing me the ropes here is a spot that he's got dialed in. That ain't a bad eye at all. Well, I'm not quite 19, but... Look at that. Nice evening time walleyes, baby. 
can't beat that. That is awesome. All right, we're gonna pull the hook out and then let them go. So Dawson said that's from stocking right there. They just clip those fins off? Yep, and then when they got both fins, that means they're natural. Okay, interesting. Look at that Y. Nice one, we're gonna release them here. Let's go, baby, two Y's on board. Well, that's three now, huh? We got three, four? <laughs> oh yeah, you had one right before I came. Let's go. We are gonna get these set up, get some more minnows on them, and uh, get right back to it. So as I was saying, before those two tip-ups popped off, we got the pan, we're gonna fry the burgers in, we've got some snacks, some jackets. I'm gonna set up my uh, sleeping bag here pretty quick. Got the camera gear. I'm gonna grab this pan, and I think Dawson and I might start cooking up some of, the, some of those burgers. That's kind of the tour. Again, I'm super new to this, never done it before. I'm really excited to do it though. I just kind of wanted to see, get the feel for for how it all works and kind of know what I need to be able to do this so I definitely need more lighting because as I told you this thing is not working this headlamp is just it's just sad the only good light I have is the light on my camera right now so we're gonna get to cooking and we're also gonna show you guys some of the rigging of these tip-ups what we're all doing all that good stuff all right I brought the goods we're ready to rock, baby. Dawson's got the setup in here. He's got the rattle reel set up to his hole. Of course, we've got the burger meat right here. A little dethaw. Here we're we go. Here. Look at this. Rattle reel's just going off right now. Got him. And it's a good one. Just popped off. Shoot. Is probably I was sitting there for what five minutes? Man, five minutes, yeah. <laughs> it's probably a 23, 24 incher. And on the secret bait that I always use, jumbo rosy reds. Dawson's gonna quickly show us the setup he's got here and kind of what he's doing um, with these tip ups. He kind of gave me the tips on, on how to set these up before I came, so he's gonna show us real quick what he's got all on here. All right, I use Beaver Dam tip ups. Only the best, right? Yep. <laughs> I run orange or chartreuse or tan line. It's super easy to see. You can see what way it's going in the hole. And then I run a VMC barrel swivel to about 18, 20 inches of 10 pound fluorocarbon to just a small split shot. Then I run Mustad thin wire hooks, jumbo rosy reds, red tail chubs, suckers, Shiners don't matter, they'll eat them all. This is just the tip tip-up light. They are, I found one of the best tip-up lights on the market. They're super easy to use. That's all you do is put your flag down and then you tilt them up. And then when your flag goes up, they go on. In there you can hear the kind of the batteries or whatever it is kind of tip over and that must be what the, turns the light on there, huh? Yep. Try to get another fish here. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna call this uh, Dawson's Kitchen tonight because we are doing some real gourmet stuff. The buddy heater is, like I said, the savior before. And we are, we got the frying pan. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! With, of course, an ice cold Bud Light. And burgers, baby. Chef Ramsay at art. You're bringing me to your spot and you're cooking me dinner? This is ridiculous. I don't deserve this. <laughs> Got the burgers rolling and, and rattle, rattle reels going, going off. <laughs> Got him? Big fish. Really? Big head shakes there. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you seen that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no way. Prettiest fish. No way. Look at that fish. Show them the camera a little bit there. 22, 23-incher. All right, we snapped a couple pics of her. And this booty back at the burgers going. Got the wise going back. They're good. Oh. 
<laughs> give me some dog, give me Sweet. some. Sweet. Burgers are looking primo. All right, the burgers are ready. Dawson's got his bread toasted up. We got no buns today. These burgers are some of the biggest burgers I've ever seen. Oh, oh that yeah. actually looks fantastic. Money. <laughs> wow. That's all I have to say. That is a work of art on the ice, especially. My goodness. Woo We've had a pretty big drought here. I'm gonna see if we can maybe change that. Oh, that feels good. Oh, head shakes. Oh, that felt really good when I set the hook. I hope it's not a pike, but if that's a Y, it's big. That feels really good. Things shaking. Oh, it's a Wally. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> this is fun. That's what we're waiting for right here. Not trying to horse him, I got eight pound fluoro on here. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. That one's even not even that long, it's just fat. Look at them. Beauty, beauty of a walleye right there. Natural. Super sick. Beautiful colors on them too. All right guys, we're gonna send her back. Nice walleye at night. That's exactly what we're looking for. Oh, 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 that's what we're here for. Sick. We're checking tip ups. It's a northern. Is it really? Yeah. Small? Yeah. Shoot. There are a lot of little snakes like that around here. I want to know what a pike's doing eating that this time of night. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Not feeling too big, little guy. Oh. That's number what? Seven on the ice? Yep, number seven on the night. Another stalker with the missing fin there. You guys can see that. Little fin on the bottom side. Well, it has been a night so far. We finished dinner a while ago and kind of we've kind of hit a little bit of a dry streak here. But I pulled up one over in a hole back here and then Dawson pulled up one over there just a couple minutes ago. So I mean Overall, can't complain. We're catching walleyes. We got seven on the ice so far. We're out here, I think it's about nine o'clock right now. We're gonna be doing our thing all night, have these set up all night, and we'll see what happens. I got the lantern working finally, so we're gonna turn that on and show you guys too. I got the heater working, it's good. It's not on. The most important part that's now working is the lantern. And as you can see, having the whole place lit up like this, it looks pretty sweet. Dawson's got another flag. Seems like his he's got the hot hole here with the, the hot tip up, so hopefully we can land another walleye. Oh, there it goes. Definitely on there, huh? Yep. Another little guy. <laughs> Sitting right under the hole. That's easy. He'll be fine. Well, as I was saying before, we picked the ideal night to be out here. The wind is not too bad. It's about 30 degrees, 28, 29, 30 degrees-ish. And we're out here. We got the lake down here to ourselves. I don't think there's anyone nearby. Can't have a better time than that. This is fun. I'm having a lot of fun. The ice camping is definitely a good time. It's gonna be interesting to see how sleeping on the cot for a bit goes. Guys got the same tip up up again. So off to the side. Better one. Better? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That ain't a bad one at all. 
Look how fat that thing is. <laughs> and it's choked. Can't even see it way down there. Nice old walleye, look at that flare. <laughs> Just another nice walleye, headed back in the drink. <laughs> Sweet. Nah. Well that's eight so far, or no, nine. It's nine so far. Yep, nine. Action's pretty sporadic. It's been like one here and there, and it's been uh, Dawson's tip up right over here. I think he's gonna set up the cap pretty soon here. We've got 10.15 right now, so we got about 35 minutes until moonrise. It's gonna be interesting to see if we end up getting some fish around that time. And if we do, it'll be also be interesting to see if they're bigger. I've mentioned this a couple of times, a couple of videos, especially for bigger pike. Um, I find that the moon phases can really be something to pay attention to. It can really, really help you catch some bigger fish and uh, capitalize on those those bite windows. So gonna be interesting to see what happens there, but I think after that, mellow down a bit, get my sleeping bag set up, the pad, all that stuff, get more into the actual camping deal, and I think Doss is gonna take a little nap here, so. <laughs> this thing is something else. I only have one burner on, and it's on low. I am steaming up in here, look at that. <laughs> we got the setup here, got all my crap, took my boots and bibs off. This is gonna be fun. Until I get a tip up and I gotta put my boots back on. At that point, I don't even know if I'll put my bibs on. We're living the life. I don't know what it is, but I think this is just the most fun thing ever. Got the doors cracked open a little bit. Got the heater running. The ambiance of the heater here. Got no lights on. It's just kind of, it's just kind of peaceful out here, man. I don't know something about this. I can totally see why people like to do this. Got the windows open, keeping an eye on some tip ups. Nothing better than being out in the outdoors and. We're camping, we're ice camping, everyone. Oh, we're half asleep. This flag goes off again. On. Oh, Jesus. Big fish. Oh yeah. Just woke up from a little snooze. <laughs> and there's a walleye on deck. Nice fish there. Got a little shut eye here. No, it's a chilly one. Fun. There we go. Don't feel too big. Give him a little space to come through the hole. There we are, like a, what time is it, 3 a.m.? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something like that. We got a shiner for dinner tonight, look at that. Just a nice golden walleye there. Got him. Feels pretty good. Better, I was gonna say it looks better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just went to check this tip up and the minnow was gone and you could tell that the T was turned and then I just put a minnow on it, turned around and it just went up. Cool. Little fat one. Nice natural fatty. Yeah, that one's a spunky one, huh? Yeah. Just chilling down there. Just choked. We got another. It's chilly out here. Oh. That's not a terrible one. 
a little spunky though. <laughs> Ooh, that might be. It's a good one. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's a real good one. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Let's go. Take it. Gorgeous natural. There we go. Nice old golden walleye right there. Can't beat it, we're gonna release her. Gosh, they're mean, look at that. It doesn't get any better than that. No thermal tent definitely is not too great because I'm wiping off the the ceilings of this towel right here. It's about 5.30 in the morning. I think I'm pretty much done sleeping for the night. We, I don't know, woke up twice during the night and had to pick, or had to uh, get a flag or two, but not too bad. I mean, I slept pretty decently. I think I'm gonna take my boots off, kick back, turn the lights off and just kind of watch for the flags here. It's, it's not bad, it's comfortable. I mean, this, this heater's warm. Just wish I had a warmer shack. Sleeping bag is awesome. I zipped that thing up and that was pretty warm, so that was fun. I'm gonna chill for a bit until the next flag. I think we're gonna stay until eight o'clock or so in the morning. So we got about two and a half hours left of fishing and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, good morning. It's officially a little bit lighter out. We got the sunrise in the background here. We got the moon up ahead of us and uh, we haven't had a tip up since like five o'clock and it's now 6.45 or something like that. I think is where we're gonna end it.